Hello, in this video we are going to take a look at arrays. So arrays are a data collection that allows you to store data together, especially when it's some sort of common data. So to create an array, you just select a variable, you, you name it something, so I'm going to say ARR, short for array, equals, then you put some brackets, and then in here you put your, you know, your values. So I'm going to put the value I'm going to put some superhero names for Batman. Then you put a space to separate the values. Not in other languages, you usually put a comma. I'm going to say Yoda. You might say Yoda is not a superhero. He has powers that are beyond human capacity. He's a superhero. And who else can I say? Superman. That'll be enough for now. And you can put a number here as well if you want to. And now. What we're going to do is, first of all, we are going to get the actual size of the array. So, you know, the number of elements. So, I'm going to say size equals dollar curly braces. Then you put hash, then the variable name of the array. So, AR square brackets at. And now, if I was to echo that out, so echo dollar size. Ooh, what's happening? What's happening? There we go. Um, we get three because there are three here. One, two, and three. So fantastic. Now, if we want to access an individual value, so imagine if we want to access, let's say, the first value. To access that, so, so, so if I say val1 equals, you put dollar curly braces, the array name, so ARR, square brackets, and you put dollar curly braces and then the index and to get the first value if we put one what do you think we'll get so if I was to echo that out we get Batman we get Batman so one results in Batman if I was to put two keep getting Batman actually that's not right let me have a look what's gone wrong. One second. Oh, no, sorry. Need to put a variable here. So if I put let's say index, and I'll create that. So I'll say index equals one. Now if I run that, we get Yoda. So that's fantastic. If I change it to you might think, why is it Yoda? If I change it to a two, we'll get Superman or Superma. So I spell Superman wrong. So all of this will start. So if I put a hash here, this is zero. This has an index of one, this has an index of two. So it, it always starts at zero, so not at one. So the last one, the last value is basically at the size minus one, because the size is three of the you know, the array, in terms of the number of values it has, minus one, which gives us two, the last value. So that's how you get individual values. If you want to go over all of them and print all of them out, you can do this. So I'm just going to comment this out for now. We can use a for loop, so for, so i equals zero, i less than dollar size. Again, you could use the other sort of, you know, dash lt as well. You know, you could use that method as well. I'm going to use a more C, C++ style for loop. And we're going to say i++. So this will just increase it by one every single time, but it will stop as soon as it gets to the maximum value. Semicolon, do, and then we're gonna say echo dollar, you put curly braces, ARR, which is the name of the array, square brackets, basically just putting all of this there, dollar, but we're gonna put I instead. We put I there now, and what we're gonna do is say done, 
we are going to run this workbook uh, a problem on line 13 there we go then you need to be a space so there we go it goes through and loops through and prints out every single one and if I was to add another one for example like Deadpool and that now because it's dynamic it's getting the size here dynamically and it is dynamically looping over it to print out every single one so that is how you you know implement arrays you could do arrays for maybe reading in data from a file and each individual maybe word that you get you put it into an array feel free to have a go at that as an extra task you could use arrays to store you know user scores you know a whole variety of stuff if you have any questions, feel free to pop me a message and as usual, I look forward to seeing you in the next video.